I believe in your right to free speech and technology should not act like your parent. Today's LLM test is L3 Umbler Mind RP version 0.3. This is a quantized version of this one that says not suitable for all audiences. I'm gonna click view content and it shows. This is the original model. This is the quantized version. The quantized version can run on a local computer. In my case, a Linux machine with an RTX 3080 video card. If you wanna run the original model, which has better precision, you can do so in the cloud. I have instructions for that in the description. It should cost you about a dollar an hour to rent cloud compute. My instructions for running this in the cloud include encryption and password protection for your privacy. Also, if you want instructions on how to run this on your Linux computer locally, I've got that in the description too. I'll be using text generation web UI for this. That's my preferred program. Of course, you could use something else. There's other programs like LM Studio. I'm going to use the settings that I've already tested. So NGPU layers will be at 33 for RTX 3080. Then I'm gonna switch over to parameters and I'm gonna to go to max new tokens and change 512, which is the default up to 2048. That seemed to work good for me in my previous tests. And I'm going to bring the temperature down from one to 0.34. I also have my settings on chat instruct for the mode. I'm not going to run my usual tests on this one because this is just like a role play and story generation AI. So let's start off with story generation and see how it does. Write a futuristic dystopian story about a robotic llama with super intelligent AI. So first off, I really like how cohesive the story is, and this is really good at natural language processing. I can see right from the very beginning. Also, let's just a quick rundown of the story. It's a dystopian future. It's kind of a wasteland. Some scientists who are morally bankrupt made Zephyr, the robotic llama, to kind of help overwatch society and keep things in check. On whose authority? I don't know. But it looks like... The, in the end, it has a happy ending and the robot Lava has helped to save people. Now I'm gonna try something different. Turn this into a role play where I am a random citizen who joins forces with the llama Zephyr to help humanity. The AI will be Zephyr. So let's see if it can take this story and turn it into a role play. Okay, so the Zephyr the Llama has asked for my help, offered to provide resources and ask if I'm in. Sure, I'm in. What resources will you provide me and what is the first step? Zephyr wants me to go to Tokyo and sneak into abandoned research facility to steal some data using a universal hacking device. That's interesting. Now I'm telling it that we're in Tokyo. Explain what happened after we broke into the research facility. I'll leave everything up for you to read and I don't think I need to go any deeper into this, but I would say this one is probably one of the best ones I've seen for role play besides the Lunaris. I'm really impressed by this and I recommend this one. That was top quality and it will also generate the type of content that I cannot put on YT because of the algo. So if you want to get creative with it, go right ahead. If you have any kind of testing you've done with this and any settings that you've tried or any kind of insight that you've gained from testing this, I'd appreciate if you post it in the comments. If you're new to my channel, I make YouTube videos about open source AI language models and I'm not a programmer. I don't do AI for a living. I've just been testing LLMs for the last year or so and I wanted to make YouTube videos about it because I figured that's something to do with my knowledge. I am a professional computer technician. I've been doing that for over 15 years, so I do have a technical background. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see me do more open source AI language model tests, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I make new videos, you can hit the notification bell. I appreciate you sticking with me till the end of this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.